Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand selection sort working mechanism. So, this is our first video of our course called Data Structures. In this course, the first section of this course, we are going to deal with different types of sorting and searching algorithms. So, uh, in that process, we are going to start with our first sorting algorithm, which is selection sort. We'll try to understand how this selection sort will work, and after that, we'll try to understand. We'll try to uh, understand the algorithm for this sorting algorithm. The, the algorithm for this uh, selection sort so the name itself suggests that selection sort selection means we are going to select the minimum element and we are going to keep that minimum element in its position and before that so how this uh, sorting sort uh, sorting uh, selection sort will work is consider this element uh, array of elements integer elements so uh, how this selection sort will work is it is going to divide this entire array into two, two halves so one half one half is going to have the sorted elements and the other half is going to have the unsorted elements so how that happens that we will try to understand while analyzing this uh, example by using this example and uh, one more point is so we are going to take a position and we are going to compare each element and we are going to assume the element in that position so try to catch my words we are going to consider a position and we are going to consider the element in that position as the minimum element considering assuming that this is the minimum element we are going to compare this element with all the remaining elements if any one of the element is identified as the smaller element than this element then we are going to consider that element that element as the minimum element by the end of all the iterations by uh, uh, by comparing after comparing all all the elements uh, whichever is the minimum element that element will be swapped with this swapped into this position and this element will go there and that will that element will come here so the the swapping is done so let's try to understand in detail uh, by using this example so as we have discussed we are going to consider we are going to start with the 0th position 0th index and here we are going to consider this element the element in the in this position so we are going to consider assume that this is going to be the minimum element with that assumption we are going to start and now what we will do is we will compare this element with all the remaining elements so first we will start with 9 is 9 less than 5 is 9 less than 5 no 9 is not less than 5 so this is not going to be the minimum element next 4 less than 5 is it true yes it is true it means that the latest minimum element is going to be 4 next 1 less than 5 is it true yes it is true so the latest minimum element is 1 and the next one is 6 less than 5 is it true no it is not true so uh, after completing all the iterations all the iterations now what what we have decided among these elements among these elements the smallest element is one now what we are going to do is we are going to swap this element with this element swapping is done so this five will move here and this one will move here so let's try to swap those elements so here five and one will get swapped so one will come here and five will get swapped here now this half this is the half that the algorithm that the algorithm is going to divide this entire array into two halves means visually not physically okay so uh, now what happens is one of the half is in the sorted or the sorted elements and the remaining are in the unsorted order now the next position in the second iteration we are going to consider this as the we are not going to touch this sorted part it is already in the sorted part now we are going to move to this position now in this position we are going to bring the smallest among the remaining elements so the smallest among the uh, remaining elements for that what we have to do the comparisons so this 4 is compared with 9 okay so uh, 4 less than 9 is it true yes it is true so at this for initially what we are going to assume this 9 is going to be the minimum element now we are going to compare uh, each and every element with this element if anyone is identified as the smallest element than this then it is considered as the minimum element so 4 less than 9 is it true yes it is true so the new minimum element is 4 
okay next five less than four is it true no it is not true and next six less than four is it true no it is not true so the minimum among the remaining elements is four now four and nine will get swapped now which are the elements that will get swapped we are trying to bring the bring the minimum element to this position now the minimum element is identified in this position so here from here these two elements are to be swapped these two elements are to be swapped now let's consider let's swap the elements so after swapping the array is 4 and 9 so the next half so this is this part of the array is sorted part and this part of the array is unsorted part still it is unsorted now we have to uh, arrange the elements in such a way so that it has to come into sorted order next iteration so how this is going to happen in the algorithm iteration wise we'll try to understand in our later video next video okay so now this element is considered as the minimum element so at this point of time the minimum the minimum element is considered as 9 now 5 is compared with the remaining elements or these two elements 5 is compared with 9 so is it small yes it is true so the new minimum element is 5 and the next one is 6 less than 9 is it true yes uh, no sorry the minimum element is 5 6 less than 5 is it true no it is not true because 6 is larger so uh, among all these unsorted elements so the so the minimum element is 5 so these two elements will get swapped so let's try to swap them let's try to swap them okay so 9 and 5 will get swapped 5 will come here and 9 will get swapped here so in the next round of iteration in the next round 9 uh, again the 9 is compared uh, considered as the minimum element so we are going to compare 6 and 9 so they are going to this is going to be the minimum element so both of them will get swapped we are left with only one element so let's try to erase this and swap these elements so 9 and 6 will get swapped and uh, here we are going to get 6 and this is going to be the 9 elements so are we going to consider this position is there any need to consider this position there is no need because this element is in its position the highest among these elements will move to the uh, 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 to the end of the array okay so we are going to take the comparison starting from 0 to n minus 1 so n minus 1 number of comparisons are done and with that with those n, m, n minus 1 number of comparisons the all the elements will get in the sorted order okay so this is how the selection sort will work uh, the detailed explanation about algorithm will be made in our next class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching